Let's find the best bet in the matchup between the Utah Jazz and the Milwaukee Bucks for this 30, Thursday night NBA slate. Uh, Bucks are on the first leg of back-to-back games with the Knicks on deck. Do we fade them and take the Jazz, or do we take the total? We'll talk about it here in just a bit. I'm Ronald Kabang from wagertalk.com and themoneyballer.com. We are now up in over 100 units uh, of profit overall since September 1st. That includes nearly 10 units in the NBA to start the season. And Wager Talk currently has a bunch of deals going on over at wagertalk.com. Specifically, there's one with the NFL for me to get the rest of my NFL season for a discounted rate. I'm number one over at Wager Talk right now with over 47 units of profit in the NFL during the season. Also includes 5% plays and my 5% plays in 2024, 15 and 2, a 90% hit rate, the best win percentage for 5% plays at Wager Talk. So check my camper page at wt.buzz backslash rc for any deals and premium packages. Also, several free plays. I already have a whole bunch of free plays up for this weekend. Now let's dive into this matchup between the uh, Jazz and the Bucks. First off, defensively, both teams are really struggling right now. The Jazz are allowing nearly 120 points per game. And the Bucks are right behind them, allowing 118 points per game. And neither team has been able to lock down defensively, which opens, you know, opens the door for several ways to score uh, to to turn this into a fast-paced, high-scoring game. Um, two things, or one thing that uh, both of these teams do well is get to the free throw line at a high rate. And if they do that and put and get to the free throw line, the time stops. Uh, both of these teams not forcing turnovers at a high rate either. This seems like a you know a recipe for an overtime game. The Jazz they did just explode for 135 points against the Bulls. That was their best offensive adding of the season. Um, obviously they've been pretty inconsistent prior to that game, uh, but this could be a sign that they're maybe putting things together offensively. And also there's potential for Jordan Clarkson to get back onto the court for them, and that's going to help them offensively as well. Now, I talked about the Bucks and their defense. They haven't been great as well. And obviously with them looking ahead to a bunch of potential, uh, you know, obviously critical matchup against the Knicks, this could be a situation where they let off the uh, let off the gas a little bit on the defensive side of the ball, really just rely on pretty much just outscoring a team like the Jazz here. Uh, also, given the travel situation, right, this is not only your first leg of back-to-back games, but they also have to travel. They're at home, and then they got to go to New York for the next one. Um, so I'm not sure we see a uh, focused Bucks team on the defensive side of the ball. And to be honest, they haven't been great on the defensive side of the ball anyways. Um, and then lastly, there's that pace factor. Both teams top 10 in pace uh, this year. And I like when both teams play a similar pace because they, they get into an offensive rhythm. Uh, and that's what I think what we can see here in the game flow for this one between the Jazz and the Bucks. Obviously, I think Giannis, he's questionable. He didn't play on Monday against Cleveland. That might be a um, a negative, but more so uh, on the defensive side of the ball for the Bucks instead of offense because he brings a lot of length and um, uh, and physicality on the defensive side of the ball for the Bucks. So without him there, I could see uh, I could definitely see Milwaukee really relying on offense more than defense. So both teams struggling defensively, relying on uh, easy points from the free throw line, fast paced game. A lot of things really pointing towards an over. Um, over 227 and a half is what I see where the total is at right now. So what are your thoughts on this game? Do you want to see the, uh, do you, are you going to take the, to, uh, the side or do you agree with the total of, of the over here? Uh, make sure you leave comments after the video here, whether you agree or disagree. I'd love to hear your angles. Uh, also, if you like the breakdown, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Make sure you click the notification button as well. So you don't miss any other breakdowns from other wager talk handicappers as well. Um, NFL, hockey, soccer, NBA, all those breakdowns uh, from other handicappers. And then once again, head over to wt.buzz backslash RC for free and premium packages. Uh, take advantage of all the pre- uh, great deals that they have over at Wager Talk. And for your personal betting needs, head over to themoneyballer.com. They have all the stats, trends, and insights you need to make informed betting decisions. You can use promo code RC50 to get 50% off your first billing cycle. Um, the moneymodder.com is my main source for handicapping. It's a big reason why I've had success in the NBA, NFL, and WNBA season. Uh, so check it out. Uh, this is the end of the video, guys. Whether you fade or follow, it is on you to make that call. Good luck with all your actions. Till next time, peace.